In this video, I'm going to compare using the choose function versus the VLOOKUP function. In my sample worksheet, I have a main table where I have the names of cities and a country code. In the third column, I want to add the name of the country. Over to the right, I have a table of country codes and the respective country names. First, I'll use VLOOKUP to retrieve the country name from the second table and place it in the third column of the first table. For the first city, Los Angeles, the syntax of the VLOOKUP would be equals VLOOKUP followed by an opening bracket. The first parameter would be the country code in cell C4, and then I'll add a comma, and then I'd enter the table array for where I can find the country code, 1. In this case, it would be the range of G4 to H6. Next is another comma, and then the column index number, which is the second column. Finally, one more comma, and then false for an exact match. Add a closing bracket and click Enter. It gives us the correct result of United States. I'll copy to the remaining rows to show that the VLOOKUP returns all the correct countries. Now let's try the choose function. First, I'm going to delete all the VLOOKUPs. Once again, I'll begin with Los Angeles. The formula is equals and then choose, followed by an opening bracket. The first value we need is the index number. In this case, it's the country code value in cell C4. Next is a comma. Now I'll enter the options for the countries, United States in quotes, then a comma, Canada in quotes, then a comma, and finally Australia in quotes. Then I'll add the closing bracket and click enter. I'll copy this to the remaining rows. The choose function seems easier to implement than the VLOOKUP when you manually enter the options. However, since I have the second table, I can make the formula even easier. For Los Angeles, I'll edit the formula. I'm going to remove the manually entered names and then individually highlight the countries in our other table while holding down the control key. Now I'll we'll click on each country individually, click the F4 button so that they become absolute references. I'll click enter and then copy the formula to the remaining rows. Personally, I feel the choose function can be much more efficient than VLOOKUP in simple applications like this one. It allows you to easily select a value from a list of choices based on a numeric index, regardless of their position in the table or range. What do you think? Which function do you think was the best, the choose or the VLOOKUP? Let me know in the comments below.